So for my tutorial, I will be teaching you guys how to create a simple stop motion animation through After Effects. As, as you can see, I already have everything in the file right now, um, but we're going to go ahead and start with a clean plate. And so it's quite literally me control zine two times. It's a two step process, basically. One of the important things to do like to check before you want to bring in anything into After Effects is to make sure that all of your images are organized in the correct uh, sequence in your file before you decide to import and bring it into After Effects. So go ahead and make sure that's already good for you. I know that mine are good, so I'm going to go ahead and start with bringing them in. All these pop-up windows that I will be seeing, you won't, you won't be seeing, and so I'll do my best to my ability to describe everything for you. So right now, at the top left, I'm going to go ahead and click File, go down to Import, and then hit File again. The hotkey command for this will be Control-I. So now it brought open my, uh, my Windows files. And I am looking at the images right now. It looks like all of my images are good. So I'm going to go ahead and select all of them. OK, I have them all selected. Uh, and you don't have to do, have to do anything special after that. All you have to do is hit import. So as you can see right now, it's bringing them in all the images. So while they're all still selected, go ahead and click and drag for it to go down to this composition option right where my mouse is. Go ahead and let go, and it's going to bring up this new pop-up window. Uh, it's called New Composition from Selection, and it has three sort of sections in it. So it starts off with Create at the top. In the middle, it has an options, and then at the bottom, it has uh, sequence layers. Going to options, uh, you'll see that there's a still duration. And so this is telling you how long these images will stay on. I think I'm going to try four frames. So out of the entire number sequence that you see, the very last zero, I'm putting four. Those last two zeros represent the frames. Once I put that in, uh, for the sequence layers section, go ahead and check mark sequence layers. This is what's going to put your files into the order that you brought them in as, and it's going to make life so much easier creating a stop motion. Go ahead and hit OK. And there you go. It, it organized everything. Uh, as you can uh, tell, everything's the correct length. Um, if we play it, we can go ahead and see our creation. And yeah, that's uh, how to create a stop motion animation. Thank you.